God, we can put our trust in Him and we will never be disappointed. Welcome, my dear friend, to the Glory Realm. This is a time that we spend with God. And it's proudly brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. The ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God. Because we know that as we go to the house of the living God, as we touch the hem of His garment, we can never go back the same. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm so happy to be with you today on this lovely day. It is early in the morning and I'm here at the place that I love to come to to pray. And I am in the power of God. I'm in the presence of God. I've been praying and I've been seeking God and God is amazing. I've been seeking God from before the sun actually rose and it is amazing. God is such a good God. He is a great God. My dear friend, I want to tell you whatever you might be facing today, trust in God and God will deliver you. God will come through for you. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Jesus is stronger than every devil that can come up against you. Jesus is stronger than every problem that can come up against you. Jesus is stronger than that challenge and that situation. Whatever you might be facing, whether it's hardship, whether it's persecution, whether it's trials, whether it's demonic attacks, whether it's witchcraft attacks, whatever it might be, maybe it's even separation in your marriage. God forbid such a thing to happen, but sometimes it does happen. But whether it's even separation in your marriage, or maybe you had a breakup with someone that you thought you would be with for the rest of your life, Jesus is stronger and Jesus can come through for you. Jesus can deliver you. Jesus can give you the hope that you need. Jesus can take you to another level. I'm talking about Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, our Lord who came and He died for us to restore us back to God again. It's because of Jesus that we can experience blessing after blessing. It's because of Jesus that we can experience salvation. It's because of Jesus that we can even be alive today. My dear friend, I want to tell you something. We can do nothing without Jesus. It's because of Jesus that I'm standing here today. It's because of our Lord, our wonderful, precious Lord and Savior Jesus. And we give Him all the glory. My dear friend, as I was seeking God, God gave me a word for you. And I need to share this word with you. God told me, tell my children not to worry, I will come through for them. And He gave me this scripture from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. And I'm going to read to you from the ISV version. It says, that's why I'm telling you to stop worrying about your life, about what you'll eat or what you'll drink, or about your body, what you'll wear. Life is more than food, isn't it? And the body more than clothing? My dear friend, the Lord spoke to me clearly. He said that I should speak to you. He said that I should pray for you. He said that we should pray together today against worry. In this time and in this season, the Lord has showed me how so many people are getting weighed down in their faith because of various different worries, various different anxieties, various different fears that are coming up. And the Lord is speaking today and is saying, don't worry. Don't worry about a thing. You know, there's a song, it's a secular song. And it used to go like, don't worry about a thing because everything will be all right. I can't sing, but I'm just trying to show you that there's a song out there that says that. But in Christ, when you've given your life to Jesus, that song can apply to you. When you've given your life to Jesus, you don't even need to worry. If you're out there in the world, you haven't given your life to Jesus, maybe then you can worry. But you, my dear friend, you, my dear brother, you, my dear sister, the fact that you're on this channel, it means that you love Jesus. It means that you want Jesus. It means that you're after Jesus. You want to connect with Jesus. And that message is for you from Jesus. Don't worry about a thing because everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. God will supply all your needs according to His glorious riches in Christ. God will supply everything you need over and above what you need. God will cause you to have so much that you'll have overflow. My dear friend, if you read in the book of Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 all the way to verse 3, we realize that our blessing is actually so that we can be a blessing. We are blessed to be a blessing. Our blessing hinges on being a blessing to other people. God will bless you with more than enough. He will give you overflow so that you can bless those people around you. God will bless you with so much so that you can be a blessing. So that when people see you, they will smile and they'll thank God because you are a blessing in their life. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. I discern the power of God. 
I know like I know like I know that God is going to do something mighty this morning. God is going to do something in your life, my dear friend. God is going to change your life, my dear brother. God is going to change your life, my dear sister. Your life will never be the same again. Let your heart be filled with joy today. Do something with me. Let's do this together. Just breathe in. And then breathe out. Say, Jesus, I give it all to you. I give you all my worries. I give it all into your hands. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, I give it to you. Amen. My dear friend, in saying that, let's go into a time of prayer. The presence of God is here. God is going to touch you. And we're going to pray. Whatever is troubling you, whatever is worrying you, God will come through for you. You will receive your miracle. We've received so many testimonies of miracles all around the world. And it will happen to you. Today is your day for a miracle. Amen. Hallelujah. And saying that, take your cell phone, your device. Go somewhere private where you can seek God. And even as you go there, just begin to lift up some praises to God. Father, you are our Lord. You are our God. You are the God in whom we trust. The creator of heaven and earth. The creator of everything that is seen and unseen. Lord, you are the creator of everything. Everything that has life was created by you. And nothing can say that it wasn't created by you. Otherwise, it would be lying. Lord, you hold the universe in the palm of your hands. You give us life every day. You give us a fresh breath of life. You give me life. You give my dear friend life who's watching this video. My dear brother, my dear sister, your dear child who's watching this video, whom you love very much. The fact that they're watching today is because of you. And we thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. We delight in you. We delight in you. We delight in you. We delight in you, O oh God. We delight in your ways. We love your ways. We love you, precious Holy Spirit. We love you, Lord Jesus. We can do nothing without you. And we just give you praise for another day. Thank you, Lord. Another day that we can live to the fullest. Another day that I can live to the fullest. Another day that my dear friend watching this video, your child whom you love so much, can live to the fullest. Give my dear friend watching this video, your child, give my dear friend success and progress today. Lord, let this be such a successful day for your child. Those who don't have jobs, let them find jobs. Those who don't have business and they want business, let them receive business. Those who are trusting you for relationship, Lord, let them receive the right person. Whatever your dear child is asking you for today, let it be done unto your child to give you glory, Lord Jesus. I pray this and I thank you for this, Lord. Amen. Holy Spirit, I just welcome you. You are here already. I feel so much of your joy and your peace already. You are here. Come, Lord Holy Spirit. Come and take over control. Take over control where I'm recording. Take over control where my dear friend is watching. Do what only you can do, Lord Holy Spirit. And do it only for the glory of King Jesus. Because we are a generation after God's heart. We only desire to see Jesus being lifted high. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord Holy Spirit. We give you all the glory. Amen. My dear friend, say this with me. Say, Holy Spirit, come and touch me today. Touch me today. Change my life today. Do what only you can do, Lord Holy Spirit. And do it for the glory of King Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God's presence and God's power is here. Now I want to pray for you. And as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you to do three things. Number one, comment in the comment section and agree with me. There is power in agreement. Let us form a worldwide network of agreement. Just imagine the great things that God can do as we agree together and as we stand together in unity and in agreement. Comment in the comment section and agree with me. The second thing, if you've got any prayer request, maybe something's troubling you, maybe you're going through a situation, you don't have to face it alone. God is with you. And God has sent me to trust God with you. God has sent me to believe God with you. If you want to send in your prayer request to me so that I can pray with you and for you, you can go to my website, www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request and click submit. And I'm going to trust God with you. You shall testify. God shall do what only God can do in your life. Amen. And number three, if you've got a testimony, if God has touched you, if God has done something amazing, don't hold your testimony back to yourself. 
Don't be selfish. Share the testimony with your brothers and sisters so that they can be built up in faith. Go to our website www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and just click on testimony or testify. Fill in your testimony, click submit, it's going to go in for review and then it will be posted up. We have a bit of a backlog of testimonies but it's going to go up. The team is actually working around the clock and God is amazing. He is wonderful. He's going to bless each and every one who has testified because God is in the business of changing lives. But in saying that, let's begin to pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, my Lord and my God, my Father, my Father, I stretch my hand towards this camera and I pray for your child who's watching. Lord, let your miraculous power manifest. Your miraculous power that can change lives and change situations. Let that power manifest in the life of my dear brother, my dear sister, who's watching this video, wherever my dear friend is watching, let that power manifest in their life to change their life. Lord, whatever is troubling your child today, let that trouble and that sorrow be taken away. Let that worry and that anxiety be taken away. Let that fear and that burden of worry be taken away. And let your child just rest in you. I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Lord, whatever that situation is, Lord, let the miraculous power that you've released and you've graced us with in this ministry, let it be released to work and bring change in the life of my dear friend, your child who's watching this video. I pray this and I ask you in the name of Jesus. Whatever that situation might be that's causing your dear child to worry, let that miraculous power go forth and solve that situation. I ask this in the name of Jesus and I thank you for it, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, grace your child with peace and with rest. Let your child know that you are the builder and unless the builder builds, then the laborers labor in vain. Let your child rest in you knowing that you are the builder and you are going to build the house. You are going to build that vision. You are going to build that dream. You are going to build that purpose. You are going to build that destiny. You are going to build that home, that family, that marriage, whatever it might be, that business, that company, that organization. You are going to build it because you are the builder. You are the master builder and we can't build unless you are there. And I thank you, Lord, that you're going to build that. And my dear friend doesn't need to worry. My dear friend doesn't need to be afraid because you'll do what only you can do in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. And right now, with the power in the name of Jesus, with the authority in the name of Jesus, with the authority that I have as a child of God, I bind up and I cast out every evil spirit causing worry, causing anxiety, causing fear, causing setbacks, causing a state of panic. I bind you up, you evil spirit, and I cast you out right now by fire and by force with the power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare your time is up. All barriers, all bondage, all spiritual cages of worry, fear, anxiety, and shame, I break those cages. I break those limitations. I snap those chains. I snap through chains and bars right now with the word of God. The word of God says trust in God. I snap through those chains and those barriers and those bondages with the power in the name of Jesus and the double-edged sword, the word of God. In Jesus name. My dear friend, I decree and declare you are free in the name of Jesus. You are free of worry. You are free of worry. You are free of worry. You are free of fear. You are free of anxiety. You are free of everything that was trying to hold you back. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. I decree and declare. God's shalom peace. God's perfect peace. Shall come over your life right now. In the name of Jesus. Your life will never be the same again. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. God said it. I believe it. And that settles it. My dear friend, I want to tell you something. When God says it, it's a done deal. I believe what's written in the word of God. Because the word of God came from God. It is the word of God. He doesn't speak contrary to his word. What it says in the word is what is true. Your situation might look a certain way. But the word of God says, 
do not worry about anything. The word of God says, my God shall supply all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Wow, isn't that amazing? That is so amazing. But until we meet again tomorrow, my dear friend, Shalom. God bless you. God keep you. God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until tomorrow, Shalom and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.